Leo Gang Gang, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is up, my dear fellow Leo clan? Welcome into Mystic Unicorn Tarot and welcome to another general love reading for you. Yeah, I'm so very happy to be here with you and happy to he have you here. Please keep in mind, Leo, that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't, as this is not necessarily going to resonate with everyone. We could absolutely be speaking to a cross-watcher here, so just keep that in mind. Place yourself in whichever side of the equation that it fits for you naturally, which fits for you best. Please, please do not force anything to try and fit that doesn't naturally fit in your story. Also keep in mind, Leo, that this is a timeless reading. This does not have to resonate for, for you at any specific moment in your life. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading, then, then that is the message for you at that time in that moment. Also, I'd like to remind you guys that we do have playlists here on my channel, uh, which include, which contain a ton, a plethora of readings for all of the signs, Ophiuchus included. If you know, then you know. If you're looking for extra messages, just go to the corresponding sign and make sure you pay close attention to the titles of the reading, as that will give you a feeling as to whether or not the message is for you or the message has something in it for you. Yeah? All right, Leo, we're going to get into this a little bit of you versus them. First and foremost, Leo, I do automatically, I feel like we're, I'm picking up on a romantic. We're going to be talking about a romantic situation for you. But yes, this is a love channel. We're looking at love and romance, but also we could be looking at interpersonal relationships as a whole. I guess I, could, I should call this more of a Venus channel instead of a love channel, because we, we often talk about here all of the values that venus represents or whatever venus has dominion of which is uh, sometimes money and career um but also love definitely and then also um you know whatever it is you value whatever it is you find contentment happiness and in okay so but for you leo i feel like we might be talking about love here but let's just get into this i am seeing pink for you let's start with leo sun moon rising and venus show me leo please show me leo in terms of the connection or in terms of this message in terms of this you versus them one more shuffle for you leo sun moon rising and venus but also keep in mind leo we could you could find yourself on any side on either side of this equation all right but let's get into this show us the energy of leo right now in terms of love and relationships or just for this ooh, 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 ooh. what first first card here is the seven of swords for you leo you're being secretive. You're keeping your you're keeping to yourself. You're keeping your energy to yourself. I don't feel like you're trying to be deceptive. I just feel like you're cordoned off. You're very much keeping to yourself right now. Interesting. Show me Leo, please. Yep. There you go. Nine of Pentacles. You are very much happy and content. Oh, okay. Ten of Cups is at the bottom of the deck right now. I'm being guided to look at that. I did see that in trying to turn the Nine of Pentacles over. Um, but what I'm getting with this, Leo, is that you are very happy and content within your space and within yourself right now. If, the, if you do have some sort of romantic situation going on for you right now, or maybe even potential, I don't feel like you're giving to that much. I feel like you're staying very content in your space, in your own little corner, in your own little chair. You can be whatever it is you want to be. <laughs> and you're definitely doing that right now, Leo. And I don't feel like that's a bad thing. Anything else for Leo at this time? Show me Leo, please, too. Oh. 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 Oh, Leo. Oh, shit. We've got the two of pentacles reversed, and then you've got the three of swords. Something has hurt you, Leo, and there is something very serious about you are not juggling. You are not playing with this situation. You are not playing with this person. You are not playing with these people anymore. Holy moly. And then at the bottom of the deck, you've got the tower. Oh boy, Leo. Oh boy, Leo. Big change. I feel like you're fed up. You are dunny, done, done. X, X's and O's. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Mm -mm. Yeah, uh, Leo, I feel like you're really in a, in a solitary moment right now. I mean, obviously you do have that nine of pentacles, but then with this nine of pentacles, you have the two of pentacles in reverse and what that says is you are not fucking with this person you are not fucking with those people you are not fucking with this situation you are done you are not trying to juggle you are not trying to work anything out you are not trying to find peace with this person if there is any sort of animosity i feel like you have found peace within yourself and that's why you're dropping this back and forth type of energy all right this this situation hurt you 
It may have hurt your pride. It may have hurt your ego. And I'm not saying that in a, in a, in a derogatory or an offensive. I'm not trying to say you're being super egotistical. I feel like you're trying to protect yourself right now. You are trying to protect yourself right now, Leo. I've had it. I'm done. I'm not doing this with you anymore. Seven of Swords, though. I do feel like I want to look at that Seven of Swords deeper. Um, I feel like uh, on the surface for you, you're being very secretive. You're keeping to yourself. You have, you may not even reach, you may be trying to avoid something or someone right now. Maybe avoid a conversation. You're keeping your feelings to yourself. You're keeping your thoughts to yourself. This may be very, you may be very much in a, in a, in a mindset right now. If you have, if you have nothing, uh, if you have nothing good to say, you're not saying shit. <laughs> good on you leo because also i feel like some of you may feel like this situation or this person that you're dealing with doesn't even have doesn't doesn't get the privilege of even hearing what you have to say or how you feel about it that is a pretty prideful energy leo but again i don't feel like this prideful leo, this prideful energy that's kind of in the forefront for you is anything wrong or bad i feel like there's a very good reason for it I feel like you're a very loving person, or at least you've been in a very loving place in terms of this person or these people, this situation that you're dealing with that we're gonna that we're about to look at. You it feels like you've been in a very loving place for this situation, but now something has popped off, something that's happened that has caused you to pull all that love back and be like, nah, you get nothing from me now. Oh, the drama. All right, Leo, let's look at the other side. Show us the other side of the equation for Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What is de Leo dealing with? What happened? Show us this other side of the equation, please, spirit. One last shuffle. Show us the other side of the equation for Leo, please, spirit. Mm. Okay, so I looked at the, I was guided to look at the bottom of the deck. At the bottom of the deck for the other side of the equation right now, Leo, you have the Ace of Swords. And what this is saying to me is truth wisdom honesty authenticity but also it's saying you you get it now or you see exactly what this situation is for you and for some of you guys that was kind of, that was a hard that was a tough pill to swallow it was it feels like it was a very tough pill to swallow leo for some of you here but ultimately you see it clearly now or at least you have the truth here and so maybe it might be that we'll see if the Seven of Swords comes out on this side of the equation, but it may very well be that this side of the equation was deceptive. This side of the equation at some point, or maybe still, is or was holding some sort of deceptive Seven of Swords energy. But what it feels like now is you got the truth about this side of the situation, and now you're the one being deceptive. But not to get, not really in a malicious way, not to cheat or get some get over on someone or steal something from someone no you're being deceptive because it's like nah you get nothing from me now all right show us what happened on this side of the equation please spirit show us the other side of the equation for leo sun moon rising and venus what's going on on this side of the equation first card you have is the page of pentacles first thing i want to say is this this side of the equation wants to start over but again i hear you get nothing from me show us the other Damn, that's it. That's it. The page of pentacles with the queen. Yeah, with the queen of wands. All right, look. Uh, mm, I'm going to get some more on this, but what I'm feeling right now, page of pentacles is the only card out so far. And then you have this queen of wands at the bottom of the deck. This person or this side of the equation mm, feels like they're scheming. Feels like they want something from you. They want to get something, want something, something from you. They want to regain your confidence in them. They want to regain your love, your respect. They have a, they have a motive here. I don't necessarily want to say it's an ulterior motive. It may very well be. It could be an ulterior motive in terms of them coming to you saying, well, I'll make these changes or we can do this. We can do that. We can make this better. But ultimately, either this person has no real desire to follow through with that or just has no follow through with it at all. Like this feels like the type of situation where someone would make some sort of commitment to you in some sort of way, page of pentacles to get the situation flowing again, but they don't necessarily have the self-awareness. Maybe some of them don't have the self-respect to actually follow through with that commitment to make the situation better. And I think that's what you know at this point. 
I think that's what that Ace of Swords was trying to say to you or what that Ace of Swords represented for you at the, at the on this side of the equation. You, again, I get this very loving energy that you may have been in in terms of this situation and you may have given this person or these people or this situation multiple chances to get their act together and they just consistently never did or have not been able to sufficiently. They haven't been able to sufficiently in order to keep this relationship balanced, healthy and whole. And at this point, Leo, I think you've figured that out. And that's why you've co cordoned yourself off from them. That's why we have this tower moment happening for you because that it's over. We're done. We are done here. But continue. More on this side of the equation, please, Spirit, for Leo. Anything else for this side of the equation for Leo? Next card you have is, mm, there you go, the Three of Swords. And I do want to say that this person or these people or this situation recognizes that they've hurt you. And then there's that Ace of Cups. But we love you, Leo. But we love you, Leo. And then with that Ace of Cups, what do you have? The Wheel of Fortune. This is a never ending cycle with this person or these people. And at this point, Leo, I, I feel like you figured out that this has nothing to do with you has absolutely nothing to do with you, at least to the point where at like now you know that your involvement is done or you're not going to get involved any longer or be involved any longer. And um, this has nothing to do with you because you know you can't change it. You can't change this situation for them, no matter what they may be saying to you. And then overall, <laughs> yikes, overall energy is the page of swords. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason why I'm laughing is because they are on the outside looking in. They are watching you, this person, these people. They are keeping tabs on you. Where's Leo? What's Leo doing? Why isn't Leo here? Why isn't Leo talking to me? Well, there's a very good reason for that, Leo. Three of Swords. The only card, the only energy that you have between the two of you is the Three of Swords. And you know what? This side of the equation, this side of the equation, or this person may very well be hurt. You see this? You see, you see, wait, hold on, hold on. Let me get, let me get a little closer so you can see. You see, you see this? This is the smallest violin in the world playing a song just for them. Woe is you. Oh, I am so sorry. Oh, what, you're hurt now? Huh, that sucks, doesn't it? Yikes. <laughs> oh, Leo, you are done. You are done with this situation. This Wheel of Fortune here with this Ace of Cups, this is the problem. This has been the problem. You have found yourself here with this person or these people or this situation or circumstance over and over time and time again. Some shit pops off, something goes down, something happens, this person messes up or there's some sort of crazy circumstance and it always comes back to, oh, but we love you, oh, but I love you, wait, please stay, please don't go. And then you decide to stay and what happens? It ha the cycle starts right over again. Immediately, the moment you choose to stay is the moment that that cycle picks right back up. Regardless as to what this person or these people say in terms of how they can change, how we can start over, how we can make this right this time or right again. It never happens, Leo, and you know this now. And you know this, man. <laughs> okay, uh... I want to look at, I'm gonna go back to your energy, Leo. I wanna look at the Seven of Swords. Show us the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords on this side for Leo, please, Spirit? The Five of Swords in reverse. And you see, you see, I'm, I, I wanna show you this, but like, I, I have, my hands are tied at the moment, but I'll show you this in a second. Well, I could do it this way. The best way to deal with a five of swords energy is to literally go no contact. And that's exactly what you're doing here with that seven of swords. So again, the seven of swords does not represent you trying to be deceptive in terms of being malicious, trying to, trying to steal something from one, trying to be sneaky, trying like anything like that. The seven of swords for you is going no contact, ghosting these people, 
not responding to their text messages, not responding to their 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 calls or their cries out to you, not not going to that party or showing up for them. Like, no, no contact. Okay. What else for the Seven of Swords for Leo? Ooh, justice in reverse. Uh-oh. Show us the Seven of Swords for Leo. That's it right there with the Six of Cups. Mm, 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 mm. Overall energy is you, Leo, the King of Wands. So you have gone no contact with this person or these people or this individualized situation, individualistic, I want to say, situation, because that situation did you dirty somehow, some way. You have gone no contact because you have, in some cases, Leo, I do want to say you are admitting defeat. But in this case, that's a good thing. Because in you de admitting defeat here, you are taking the injustices that have been put upon you or placed upon you or what the injustices you have experienced in terms of this connection, this situation, and you're allowing yourself to be released from it. Instead of standing there and continuing to fight for whatever reason, you're deciding to say, no, I'm going no contact. We're, no, we're done. We are absolutely done. This situation between us is a thing of the past, the Six of Cups. Point blank period. Point blank period. That is on period, Leo. On per. <laughs> All right. All right, I wanna go back to this side of the equation now. Which is better, the Ace of Cups or the Wheel of Fortune? Spirit just said the Wheel of Fortune has been defined already. Let's look at what the Ace of Cups has to say. Show us the Ace of Cups on the other side of the equation for Leo. And let me tell you something, Leo, with that King of Wands energy at the bottom of the deck, you are determined to move forward. I mean, it's done. The t <laughs> Clarifying the Ace of Cups on this side of the equation, Leo, is the tower. Anything else? Nope. That's it. We're done. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck is justice. So the injustices in your life that you have experienced in reg or as a result of being connected with this person, being in a relationship with this person, whether it's platonic or romantic. What's bringing justice to the situation, Leo, where there was injustice on your side previously, What's bringing justice into your life in terms of this situation is tearing this down, saying no, completing the cycle and saying we are in fact done here. So this person can send you all the love, all the kisses, all the accolades, all of the, they could send you all of the things. They could do all of the things to convince you, to rope you back in or to get you back in, get you emotionally invested in this situation again. But Leo, it is just not gonna work. But you don't need me to tell you that. You know that already. You are determined to move forward, King of Wands. Okay. So with that said, then now I'm curious. Now I'm curious, even though Spirit did just say, you know, the Wheel of Fortune has been defined already. I'm curious. Clarify the, the Wheel of Fortune on this side of the equation for Leo, please, Spirit. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, don't. I swear to God, Leo, if that's the devil, I'm going to die because I thought about it. I, I didn't want to say it because I didn't want to jinx it. But I think I saw what that was when it fell out here. And I swear when I started, when I started to clarify the Wheel of Fortune in the back of my head, I was like, watch, watch the devil come out. What do we have? The fucking devil. <laughs> Yo, Leo, you can't make this shit up, man. You can't make this shit up. The Wheel of Fortune is the devil. Toxicity, it's a toxic cycle, and you and you know this, man. <laughs> oh my god, what else do we have? The eight of wands and the two of swords. <laughs> this situation, Leo, I'm gonna I'm tell I'm gonna be straight up with you right now. Regardless as to whether you're involved with this situation or not, it's gonna continue to be the toxic cycle that it has always been. Always. You have the eight of wands with the devil. Ain't nothing gonna stop this from being a toxic, low vibrational situation until the people involved, until the people involved do something to make a change. But see, the, the fact of the matter is, Leo, that ain't gonna be you, because you are not involved. You are not even paying, nope. The two of swords, and this is a definitely a good place 
to be in denial or I'm sorry, a good way to be in denial or a good, a, a good situation to be in denial of in terms of you don't want it. You want nothing to do with it. You're not even interested anymore. You are not even trying to hear the tea on the situation. I don't want to know. So all your all y'all friends, OK, or all the people that are still connected to this person or this side of the equation, don't come at me with the gossip. I don't want I don't want to know. I don't give a flying fuck. I'm done with that. Why? Because you've learned your lesson. You see what the situation is. You know what it's going to result into. Overall energy is the seven of pentacles. Bam. Mic drop. <laughs> I love this shit. Okay. Let's get a closing message, potential outcome. But really, Leo, what I want to see with this closing message, potential outcome is where it is you're heading. That's what it feels like here. So... Closing message, potential outcome, what's coming through for Leo at this time? Where is Leo headed? What's next? Or what is the closing message, potential outcome you want to provide to Leo at this time? Please, spirit. All right, here we go. Closing message, potential outcome for Leo in this connection, in this situation, in this circumstance. Page of Cups. You may very well have a new love coming forward towards you. You may already have this individual on the horizon if this is resonating as a romantic situation for you, okay? Um, I, I, I want to speak to this first and then I want to get some more. Um, some of you may actually have... This is, for some of you, this is actually a romantic relationship and you've been going through some problems with this person for a long time and you may have caught the attention of someone else or someone else may have caught your eye. You guys may have been vibing with each other checking for each other for a while but leo you never let it go anywhere because you were still involved with this person i feel like now the doorway is going to be open for a new love to come in for you a better relationship definitely would be or at least i hope it would be a better relationship um, than the one you had here you learned from this relationship and so now the new thing that would be coming in would be a greater alignment in greater alignment for you or something better for you a new phase a new cycle OK, also, if that does, if this isn't resonate, if this doesn't resonate for you in terms of a romantic situation, I feel like. Uh oh, well, I wanted to say, I mean, this is the dreamer energy. So like your dreams are open. You could go towards what it is you want to dream of. But also now this page of cups and um, uh, now I'm picking up on the reconciliatory side of the page of cups. Someone may be wanting to apologize. I mean, we already know that. We've already got that. Okay, so closing message, potential outcome for Leo. Eight of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. And death. Okay, and death. All right. Uh, ooh, let's take that. Yep, okay. I wanted one more card to, to even out this spread here. This little six card thing I like to do every once in a while. And I took the card that was at the bottom of the deck. It is the chariot. And then appropriately enough, underneath the chariot is the six of swords. All right. So you're definitely moving away. Um, I do feel like this page of cups energy here is the effects of someone this side of the equation, whatever this side of the equation is, whether it's a romantic partner or a group of people or whatnot, whatever. I do feel like there's a possibility for this individual or this side of the equation to want to reconcile or to try to reconcile. We already talked about that, but I don't feel like you're paying any attention to it. What I feel like, Leo, here is the advice for you at this point is to stand your ground and continue to work towards what it is you truly dream of now that you have had this experience with this toxic cycle, okay? The Page of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles isn't always a good energy. Sometimes it can represent hoarding, um, holding on to something for dear life. It could also represent FOMO energy, fear of missing out. But in terms of this, what I heard for you, Leo, when the Four of Pentacles came out, it was stand your ground. Absolutely do not give in to this person or this situation any longer and continue to work on crafting or give, moving yourself towards the reality that you dream of now, because I do feel like that for some of you here, maybe even for most of you, you have gained deeper insight into what it is you really want or more of what it is you really want. And you're very determined to get it. King of Wands. 
With that, you have death, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Chariot. This really just feels like Leo is confirmation that the situation is over. You are transforming out of it. You are a different and or better person because of it. Ten of Pentacles, life cycle over. You've reached the end of this situation and now you get to move on from it from there in a much greater alignment, much better alignment than you were in the past, the Chariot. Okay? You have definitely grown in terms of this situation. Congratulations. Good on ya. Yeah? All right, Leo, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Please make sure to smash that like button for me. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Subscribe to the channel. It helps me to connect with your energy, okay? So if you're looking for more messages potentially for you in the future, even though these are general readings, get involved. Yeah, get your energy in the mix. And if there's something that I can pick up on there for you, I will provide it to you, yes? Also, if you would like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where you will find a list of the readings that I offer and my email address. Shoot me an email, let me know you're interested and I will be more than pleased as punch to get you all hooked up. But with that said, Leo, I hope you have a fantastic day and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye.